It promises to be a big night. Calling the action alongside Stephen Quartermain is going to be Anthony Hudson. Hutto. Good evening, Andrew. Good Have evening, a look at the everyone. On uh, Garrick Hutto and, yes. uh, and Fisher for Carlton. That see, Walsey did set a trend. He was just 30 years early. <laughs> he was. And uh, yeah, yeah, they look good. Makes you look a bit more rugged, quarters. <laughs> Hello, you I should try uh, it one day. I'm good. I, I, I can't try it, I'm afraid. But uh, <laughs> Take you nine years. <laughs> at least. But uh, I'm looking forward to tonight's match. I'm a little more bullish about the Blues' chances than you guys are. I think uh, they can be competitive for a fair while. Judd and Stevens make a very big difference to this team. And uh, Jamison not great being out with the, the structure. And the Saints are ready to go. They've been the form side, I guess, the boom side of the preseason. So looking forward to how they go tonight. I'm sure it'll be a different scenario to what it was last week oh, when we were here on Saturday oh, night. I hope that's not an indication of what we've got to oh. come with the skills. But Judd and Clark try and clean things up a little bit. That is a real rainmaker. The roof, of course, on tonight, though, at the Dome. A little bit panicky there, I thought. Fisher has been effective for the kick away to Robert Harvey. And he gets going with a nice okay. kick on target to Gardner. Wait and Revolt. Revolt kicked four and one in the two matches against the Blues last year. And he's a good matchup for him. I reckon Wait Wolsey will really look forward to that battle as the night goes on. Thornton, who had a career high possession winning game last week. Gee, the Saints are pretty firm and quick with their tackling. Too much so according to the umpire and a Jared Waite free kick across half back. Well, this I'm really pleased that Waite's been given the task on Nick Rewalt. They're trying to uh, teach Waite how to play as a key defender. Well, put him on the best. Just a couple of little things he saw on replay just there from before taps. the game. Just love taps. Well, it, well, yeah, maybe love taps quarters, but it just shows that uh, there's could be a little bit willing out there later. This is Jordan Bannister. Oh, like back in Wolsey's day when just men wore beards and things were tough. That's right. We're all snags these days. Thornton to Cloak. Him and takes a good Come mark on. and wastes no time. To Houlihan into the midfield. And the mark's taken Lady. by Hadley. Playing the second game for his new team. There's Favola against Hudgston. Favola Lady. attacks the Lady. footy. Lady. Well done by Geary just to get the chop out there. Taken by Simpson who has a pot shot at goals. It's a good effort and it hits the woodwork. And you can see down that end of the ground, Fraser yeah. Herring has been run down that end of the ground by our helper. Now that's good play by the young Carlton defender. Fraser won't like that and it'll blow the big fella up. He was calling for the ball for the, the cheap kick in kick too, uh, Fraser. I guess he thought, if I'm going to make the journey, I want to get something for it. And Ross Lyon will desperately want Fraser Gehrig to stay in that forward 50. That's where he's dangerous, not lumbering around the ground. So does he make a call then, as Blake takes the mark, to not follow him at some stage, Wolsey? Yeah, I reckon he's got to push back and just uh, bluff O'Halpin and force O'Halpin to go back with him. If he just keeps trailing O'Halpin, O'Halpin will be happy to run forward. Blues uh, putting a fair bit of a press on here with the extra man back in Cloak, or the Ruckman pushing back. Revolt off to Harvey. And Gardner, as the big Ruckman has to do in this scenario, provides another avenue to goal. Kaczynski is the target. The ball not kicked to really do his advantage. Thornton playing in front, Kaczynski conceding the free. I, I just reckon with uh, Michael Gardner, the Ruckman, he's not going to kick at 60 metres, so you've got to get in front. St Kilda forwards need to know his limitations. So bow for the Blues. That's a good kick, and the Cloak's made some space. Goes to Hadley. And his target is Favola. It's in the back, free kick, whatever you want. Favola's got it, and he is well within range. Just perfect conditions out there, quarters. We were there only 10 minutes ago, and uh, obviously with the roof closed, there's no wind, and the ball will travel that extra five metres, so distance won't worry, Fev. So Brendan Favola has just said a lot quite a week this week for the Fev, which is good to hear. Two goals in round one. And he's well within range. He's a magnificent kick for goal, as we know. Just feared off to the right. So two behinds for the Blues. Saints yet to score. I know you said Wolsey in the opening you thought Carlton would be attacking, but would they not have considered something from what Sydney did last week? Oh, or it's just unique to the squad. I just don't think that helps Carlton uh, de develop their players. No, fair point. And Tanya's streaming out of defence. Quality ball for Geary to run into. Advantage could have been paid. Instead, it's going to be downfield. 
Mark's here. Uh, come back Murphy on your running line. with back Del Santo on. alongside here. The umpire line. being pedantic. It's got to come back. Tell you what, there's a bit happening between Thornton and Kaczynski in this first five minutes. They haven't stopped quarters. It's but been on since the opening, since before the opening bounce. Go back around on your line. Well, Thornton, of course, last week did a terrific job on Nathan Brown. Then he moved off him, and Brown. 28 touches he finished with. Yeah. Brown was uh, okay. let loose and he was terrific for Richmond. Play on. So Geary, who was also impressive, he got the most possessions of any of the debutants in round one. Play on. All the play is ahead of Graham here. He is a long strike, a low ball, misfired on the kick. They're getting lots of numbers back, Carlton. And that's the man you want to give it to because he's the dasher and the kicker. There's Rob Harvey and his opponent is Bryce Gibbs. Two Ruckman there for the Saints. They got it down. Milne has a good record against Carlton, but couldn't get on the end of it properly. And Houlihan sorts it out nicely for the Blues and sends it out wide. Unfortunately, because they had so many numbers back, there was no one left to retrieve it. And the Saints wall initially Hudson and then Fisher. And then the handball goes back from Snyder to Blake, back in the team. Now, if Carlton got on, this is five for the kick to. He just had to kick to the open space and hope that someone could run back onto it. Nick Stevens trails Geary, who goes to the boundary line and might be penalised for that. Oh, yeah. Fair enough, too. And play on quickly. Murphy got pushed. Well, he didn't need to do that because Murphy dropped the mark and then he got the hand in the back. But no doubt it was a free kick. And he plays on. He improves the angle. He kicks for goal. And the Blues get the first. Now, this is the deliberate out of bounds for the handball to the line. I think that's fair enough. Just a little touch in the back. And nowadays, they'll pay a free kick. What I did like, though, was Mark Murphy just uh, taking the kick on, immediately played on, swung around, opened up the angle, put it through. And have a look at that. There's Rob Harvey and Bryce Gibbs. Harvey is almost 18 years older than the Carlton teenager. <laughs> and his mate Mark Murphy, who kicked that opening goal, will be pleased. He kicked 10-17 last year. It's a good start from Carlton. They've got all the scoring on the board. Hayes, he's got a plethora of options out on the wing. This is Geary, he's been prominent so far, trying to get it through to Blake. Not a noted goal kicker, and they may have just thought about it a little bit too much and taken a bit time to dispose of it. Del Santo swarmed. You'd love to have a GPS on Geary. I reckon he's done about three kilometres already. Mm. Yeah, well, I got Geary and Graham in the back line with Sam Fisher, who yeah, are all dashes. And this is a great experience for Bryce Gibbs to play on Harvey. Pretty much one on one at the moment, the Blues and the Saints. Here he is again, Geary. Clark lends a hand. Trying to cut a sway through from half forward. Getting it in long. Geary and Rebot both kept their feet. And it came off the hands. Yeah. Got to like the pack jump of the Carlton yeah. defenders, though. Absolutely uh, fearless the way that they leapt at that ball. Have a look at that. Oh, help, and he's a beauty. So Thornton almost made a meal of that. Has time to recover and finds Murphy. Clark's been prominent early. And that's a poor kick. Well, Hutchton couldn't take the mark, but I'm sure he's happy just to see it over the line. Good effort by Brad Fisher to get back for Carlton too. Broken thumb in the pre-season. They thought he might miss about six weeks. He's back after round one. That's a great effort. Wearing a brace on that injured thumb. Ball. Fed out the handball. Carlton, they get a fight for in his first game of AFL football. Blues looking good. Murphy might have another chance here. Just quite, can't quite get past Del Santo, but magnificent vision brilliant for a young kick. man. That's just great composure, and it was a brilliant kick right down the throat of Hampson. Gee, it was well done, wasn't it? Good composure by Mark Murphy. Didn't rush the kick, just pulled back, saw the opening. Have a look there. Didn't follow through with the kick to get it smothered by Del Santo and set Hampson up. The other good thing for Carlton is the Judd's only had one possession so far. Sean Hampson has made no mistake, and the Blues are off to a flyer.
Well, they're playing bold footy, Rod. They're taking on. Yeah. They're more experienced and uh, more glamorous opponents, I guess, and it's paying handsome dividends. Well, out. well, that's what we thought we'd, we'd get from the Blues, that uh, they would just go for broke. Why not? Look, they, they need to kick 14 or 15 goals. If the opposition kick 20 in the process, so be it. But it's better than just stooging around playing that safety-first football and only kicking eight or nine. He's a promising big fella, Sean Hampson, uh, Wolsey. Well, Chris Judd a week ago said the two Carlton players that impressed him were youngsters in Hampson, who just kicked that goal, and Jamison, who pulled out of the team tonight, a tall defender. King, oh, farming it beautifully down for Hayes. That is how you do it if you St Kilda. Long and strong, but wait. He's a good matchup for Revolt, and he's going to get 50 here. Revolt. Hang, was uh, hanging on a fraction too in. long. Easy, Brett! Brett, nothing silly, don't go high, Brett, don't go high! Let go both of you. Just a little tug of the jumper. It's worth 50 these days. Chris Judd just coming back onto the field. Luke Ball, his opponent. Murphy marks in the middle. He had a couple of options going past. Gets himself into a bit of trouble, gets out of it. Favola's still a long option. The tall option is Hampson. Favola leading about 30 out from goal, wrestling down there with Hudson. Open square, he just chips it for Fev. No interference, that's high contact now on Williams. Edwards. Chris Judd already had a spell. Umpires have had a shocking start to round two. Jake Edwards, who uh, has been impressive in the preseason, just his second match. 12 possessions, eight marks last week. One goal, two. What a confidence booster to be for the Blues if he could nail this. Little awkward looking, but right on line. Three goals to zip. Well, it was a charity, no doubt about that. But he made the most of his luck. But it's a bad call. The umpire's only 15 metres away. A gift goal for Jake Edwards. Wasn't a free kick, but we move on. The Blues, 3-2-20, St Kilda one behind. Saints were odds on from early days, of course. King won the tap. This Montagna signed a new deal during the week, as did Hayes. Easy, guys. Easy, up, straight up. And you can see Chris Judd. Uh, Blake's picked him up at the moment. Luke Ball was on him. Nice tap by Hampson. There's a whistle on play though. It's going to Del Santo for a hold off the ball. Gets Bannister. He shorts it to Xavier Clark. A long ball revolts there from the side. Kaczynski, beautiful roving Fiora Harvey. Not quite. It's interesting, Walsy. You, you, you're talking about St Kilda holding their forward structure. They've had at least five forwards down there when the ball's got in, haven't they? It's made for a pretty crowded area. It has, and we've seen oh, several Robert. times where Kaczynski and Rewalt have crashed into each other. Mm. I guess Gehrig back in tonight makes the structure look a little different to what we've seen for most of the pre-season. Well, it does. Because Charlie Gardner's been playing that lead-up role, hasn't he? That's he was right. Gardner, out. Gardner's been a tall forward, but played up near the wings more so than in the forward 50. Jordan Russell back in the team. Played 18 games last year. And the average 10 disposals. Generally a run with player at this stage of his career. Big welcome back for Brad Fisher, as court has mentioned. Ooh, going laterally and OK to Scotland. Scooting away and trying to penetrate, but uh, that's not the way to do it there with Del Santo reading it pretty well. Fiora, some hesitation as he waited for an option to present. It did. Not clean, though. Carazzo, ball clumsy. Could have been a free, not paid. Hula hand swooping and fishes in some space here. Fev ready to run, but the better option is a longer one. 
He took a fair while to go into the pocket. Again, they crash in. And again, the free for over the shoulder. And again, it's going to be Edwards lining up for goal. He presents very well, Jake Edwards. Really like the way he goes about it. Moves across the half forward line. Keeps his eyes on the ball. He's got courage. He got the hit in the head there, so that is a free kick. Gee, this is. Uh... I know it's early days, but four goal buffer, mm. not bad. It's a very handy start, isn't it? Free kicks the seven to three at this stage. For his second, Edwards. Bit of a tougher ass than the last one, and so it proves. But Saints, goalless. They didn't exactly kick a big lot last week, Gary Walls. We were all expecting them to come out and put a few on the board pretty quickly. Well, they only got the six last week. Just looking pretty good at the moment. <laughs> so Saints just throwing it around deep in defence. Montagna knocked off the kick. Simpson, ooh, she a high hit there from Montagna. Looked a little bit crude, but uh, fortunately no. Injury to Simpson, who goes back into the corridor and is marked by Bannister. Rayon's the call. Fall of the ball is Milne. Clever little kick. Montagna. Over to Blake, and the Saints are away, but it's not a great kick. Bauer running back with a fight of the ball was courageous. Wake mops up. Houlihan. Don't know who he's handballing to, but second time around it was better. Bauer. Long ball. Couple of Saints against one blue. Favola was being impeded. Umpire said that was okay. Favola still there. Gilbert caught one a little bit high. Umpire said play on to Blake. Saints under the pup at the moment, well and truly. But they're good enough to get out of it. And Del Santo gets it over to Fisher and back to Del Santo. Got some help. Advantage paid and taken. Del Santo trying desperately to use that advantage. Finds Mill. Snyder slipped away. Finds Revolt, Milne calling for it inside 50. Gerrit the longer option, Hayes has drifted down. Oh, they all look at each other. And finally, Kaczynski looked at the ball. Yeah. Well, there were three who had a chance. Geary, Kaczynski and Lenny Hayes. Here's the Montagna incident. No, that's all right. In fact, was it even a free kick? Uh, and let's, he has a look, a big cosy, and then it just stays between the legs. They need a bit of a boost, the Saints. And Kaczynski's first effort at goal is horrendous. They just look a bit rattled. Just Fev looking for a free and not being too happy. Margin is 18, though. Good start for Carlton. Thornton. Kicks for a contest. Graham gets there first. Saints have the numbers around the ball, but Carlton might end up winning this. They do. Murphy, now it ends up in the arms of Fisher. Oh, just spent it before he had it. And a lucky let off there for the Saints. Hunched into Montagna, and a nice ball to the wing, and it's marked by Blake. Might even be 50, this one. You're right. Late into the back of our planet. The umpires are consistent on that. Carlton getting numbers right back into their defensive 50. They know that they've got to help against Kaczynski and Rewalt and Gehrig. No doubt Brett Ratton's told his midfielders he's got to push back to help out. Blake to Revolts. And there's not much weight to do much about that one. What was the 54 against uh, Carlton? He took the mark and then he drove him into the ground after the mark had been taken. So. Mm. And here was a good opportunity for Fisher. Just as I said, spin it before he had it. And uh, Revolt just slipped away from White. She's quick, isn't he? So, a big opportunity for here for Revolt. Should kick it. The only part of his game that perhaps lets him down. Well, it does let him down. Well, you've had two set shots from two key forwards, and they both missed by a mile. Hadley takes the mark from the kick in. Now, White's pushed off. He should be able to take this OK. He's got support. Thornton running past, but decides to go up along the line instead to Murphy. 
Again, good placement from the Blues. Jordan Russell has Fev coming at him. Into the pocket. Gee, that's good running. Good, good kicking skills by Carlton. Well, let's see how he goes. And that's one of the things that you hear from the Carlton camp that all summer they just spent hours and hours on just the basic skills. Balls were out every session. Looking forward to seeing if he can help them to celebrate. Pump. Yeah, it's like we saw earlier. And loves a goal. Judd still only on the one possession. He's off having a rest again. Well, they don't need him at the moment. Oh, help in. Comes in to shoot for goal. No, I don't think so. Just on Judd coming off, Hutto, Brett Ratton said before the match today that he was going to increase the rotations to keep the legs fresh for later in the match. And Judd, part of that rotation, they are heavily rotating off the bench so far tonight, the Blues. Well, Stephen's only one possession as well. Hudson marks the kick in. Back to Montagna, who goes up the middle. Fiora just clung onto it. Now Hayes. This is a better movement from St Kilda. Geary. Oh! Quickly to Revolt, out in open territory. Here's Milne, oh, slipped away beautifully in typical Milne fashion. He kicks on the left and misses. Gee, this exciting play. And uh, unlike Stephen Milne, not to finish that one with a six-pointer. Well, about three golden opportunities to Saints, and they've missed them all. At least they're getting uh, shots at goal. But Carlton's lead is very handy. He did have Kaczynski on that time, didn't he? We've seen him be extremely unselfish so far this year. Now that has got danger written all over at that kick. Which way will the fickle ball bounce for Gibbs and Pfeiffer's advantage? And Carlton might yet get out of trouble. They do. Stevens, just a second touch. Fairly casual looking ball, but a good one for Gibbs. Hoping for teammates. Scotland put his hand up. Gets it in quickly. Our help and again is down to Edwards from behind. Good leap. Clark. He's got no one to go to. Absolutely no one to go to. Kaczynski running hard to try and give him an option, and Clark in the end hits the boundary line. Just interesting having a look at that. The uh, kicks to handball. Carlton certainly kicking a lot more, getting uh, value with their possessions, and they're kicking exceptionally well. Well, a court short there, St Kilda Gardner didn't even make it to the ruck contest, and Cloak went up by himself, but couldn't make the most of the opportunity. Hadley tagging Lenny Hayes. Now Gardner's on the scene, got the tap. Stevens. Fraser Gehrig on the bench down there, Rob, so obviously they thought that they were a bit too top-heavy. I think so. Gardner against Cloak. Here's Gibbs. Hadley. Free kick to Gibbs. Going in hard, Carlton. That's why they're winning these free kicks. And he goes into the middle and finds his vice captain. Thought about dishing off to Thornton. Now kicks himself to Favola. Oh, is that a free kick? And what's the defender supposed to do? He's allowed to defend, surely. Well, let's have a look at it. That's a defender's job is to get the, the fist in and spoil. That's just play on. That's that's what a defender's paid to do. It's that's not a free kick. They don't like the arms wrapping around. You've got to be able to have a contest, otherwise no one will fly for pack marks. Or contest any marking situation. Much easier to play in the forward line today than it was in my day, Hutto. <laughs> Would you think that was a free kick? No, no. Gosh. No, but half of them these days, you just... Uh, oh. Lee Matthews, had inside, he said today. What's Max Hutchinson supposed to do? His job is to defend. That's what he did. You look up, he said, you look up, you oh. think, oh, is that a free kick these days? Oh, is it? Favola kicks the goal. Blues have got four. That really makes me angry. Hutchinson worked to spin to the side so that he wasn't going to go into his opponent's back. The umpires are terrified of missing something like that because they're coached to give those free kicks. Let's not blame the umpires. No, that's the interpretation of the rules. Blame the powers that be. Max isn't happy and I don't blame him. Don't blame the umpires' quarters. Blame the powers that be because the umpires are umpiring scared at the moment.
going on with Fev lifting up the jumper? I was going to say, we better call the producer to have a look at that. I hope that wasn't anything uh, sinister on the uh, stomach there. Well, what do you think? What sinister do you think it might well, be? Well, I don't know. He said something, so I've got a mark here. I mean, what was it? He's definitely talking to umpire Matthew Head, their quarters, and pointing to that bl blemish on his belly. Hmm. And there's a bit of push and shove and argy bargy going on between those two uh, constantly at the moment. Well, four goals on the board for Carlton. More important matters for St Kilda to worry about. The margin out to 23. And Carlton winning all the crucial contests at the moment. That's not a great kick from Scotland, but it gets roughly to where he's hoping it will. Just took a bit longer than he was hoping. Thornton and Houlihan able to collaborate. And now Bryce Gibbs. St Kilda's turn to... Just get some numbers back into defence to cover some bases. Gardner filling the hole ahead. So too Sam Gilbert. And they were unrequired in the end. Imprecision in the kick. Trying to get it off to Russell. Here's for Voa. Now... Let's not pay too much attention to Favola. <laughs> Here's Geary on the wing. Graham, he had a quiet week last week. That's a probing ball. Geary back on the ground and he's off the ground. Doesn't get off the ground by much these days. But he just got off an inch or two. It was a great interview in the footy record this weekend with uh, the G train. And uh, he virtually said, look, my days of being the number one man, I'm not interested in that in the forward line. I'm happy just to be a side act. To Kaczynski and Rewalt, but uh, gee, that just shows the talent of the man with those big arms and that one grab. So Fraser Gehrig, was 59 goals last year, he knows how to find the middle, and boy, the Saints needed that one. Did you work out what it was? It just, we'll just talk away no, from the I don't know it's a, It looks like a, some sort of bruise. I wonder whether it was a, a pinch or a... I hope no one sunk the choppers in. <laughs> I thought it might have been a tattoo. Forget it. Very important goal for the Saints. Fraser Gehry gets there first for the night. It's the Blues by 17 as we near quarter time. Cloak against Gardner. Here's Hadley. Another clearance to the Blues. Chris Judd. Another free kick in a marking contest. Hands in the back. And it's going to Murphy. Hands in the back. That's what it's for. You did. So Murphy with the football. Saints have got all 18 players back in their defensive half. So the Blues are forced to go laterally. And this is a big, this is a super flood, Rob. It is, and I don't like it because once St Kilda get it, what are they going to do? They can't get it to the G train because uh, he's in the middle of the ground exhausted. Carlton's certainly not panicking, are they? Just going to try to pinpoint short passes like that. Scotland. Here's Lenny Hayes. And Clark. That's Raf Clark. Spills to Hadley. Now here's an opportunity. Well, oh, that's good use of the bunch. He's been good, hasn't he? Uh, young Jaron Geary in the first quarter. Yes, yes. Yours, yours, yours. Very happy with him down at Moravan. 45 seconds remaining. Fiora and Harvey look at each other. Cloak, great intention was the ball. Long ball, that's fair stuff. Well done from Gardner. Needed to use his strength there. And it was an uh, emergency situation for the Saints. Gardner saving the day. So now they've got oh, 25 seconds. Harvey for Fisher. Oh, it's all flat-footed stuff, isn't it, at the moment for St Kilda out there. Raph Clark, can he find a way through the maze? He can to Fisher. 13 seconds and counting. Milne's got a fly here. He did. Brought it to ground. Oh, ball. Fantastic stuff, Luke Ball. Robert Harvey, moment of hesitation. Graham for the goal. And the Saints get a crucial one late. Right on the death of the siren. That could make a world of difference in this game. It's only 11 points now instead of three games.
Not sure what he was complaining about there, the Fev. Well, he's just refusing to talk about it. <laughs> There's the Essendon hierarchy. They take on the Blues in round three. Carlton by 11. Good crowd tonight and at the Dome. A, a much closer contest than many expected. Saints finishing with the goal though and hoping to build on that. Judd, Del Santo, Bannister all in the range. Judd somehow was able to beat everyone to the ball. He was heading the wrong way. That was the only problem. Back for Scotland and over for Pfeiffer. It probably just panicked a fraction. Didn't have as many Saints around him as he thought. Ball able to get involved. Montana had a little give, wanted to keep it and get it back. Del Santo is the man delivering into again a crowded St Kilda forward line. That was clean from Snyder in his hundredth, and that was very, very clean. Lovely finish. Well, that's why they got him. He is a classy player, and we'll see Schneider with Milne that gives the Saints two very good crummers. And he worked that through really well, didn't he? He meant to bounce that through. And Adam Schneider playing just his second game for St Kilda, but he's 100th overall. All of a sudden, it's a five-point ball game. Blues still in front. Gardner. Holding on, Nick Stevens, Carlton. Now there's a free kick again for an off-the-ball hole, and it's going to Stevens for the Blues. And no one on the mark, so off he goes. And he goes out wide, looking for Vavala. Good mark, Ashton. And he plays on also. To Geary, he's been very impressive. Receives again, kicks to Revolt. Bannister have tapped it to Cloak, and he just pumps it long. Good luck, Brendan Favola, with this one. It's a hard one to grab. Hudson does the spawning. There's Saints everywhere. Mopping up his Clark to Graham. Now handles to Del Santo. Doesn't panic. Finds Hayes over the ball. And we'll have a throw in. And... Was that chopping of the arms? Certainly looked like it. Gardner over the top, but Cloak with the bullocking work. At the back, Graham and Del Santo needed to work things out a little quicker. Fisher has the job on Judd at the moment. In for Gardner. Gehrig is long, Revolt is up forward. Kaczynski was the target, almost dragged it down. That battle with Thornton continues. Cloak lending a hand, wait, tried to keep the hands clear, but fired. Super tackle. And the super tackle won the free kick. Disposal's 20 to 5 this quarter in favour of the Saints. Yeah, and you can see there Blake just wrapping up the arms of Jared Wade. He can't get an effective handball, and the free kick goes to Blake. Incorrect disposal. So Blake, who was a late withdrawal last week, Thought highly of. He is a very versatile player for the Saints. Back into the team this week. And threads it through, and believe it or not, St Kilda are in front. It's the Saints in front by a point. Chris Judd in picture. His opponent is Lee Fisher, number six, moving towards him. Now, Lee Fisher did a fantastic shutdown job last week on Adam Goods. Really like the way that Cameron Cloak's giving a contest at these uh, ruck contests. He's undersized against Gardner, but working really hard. 
Goods kept to just seven disposals last week. Saints fans wanted to free that all any Hayes, but I'm sure the umpire had a great view of it. Have a look at that. Communicating. That's the uh, centre square players just before the centre bounce. Like to see that. Bauer manages to get boot to ball. Inside, Carlton's attacking 50. They need a steadier here. Russell got it back to Bauer. Fancy little sidestep. Now he has time to kick. Clark's in front, decides to fist it away. Geary again. Good support from Hutchton. And now he kicks in the direction of Schneider, who gets it just before the boundary line. Geary up to nine possessions, quarters, and doing really well down there. Oh, good use of the backside by Montagna. Oh, that looked out, but the boundary umpire was right there and said it's fine. So Montagna puts it inside 50 for the Saints. Gary with strength can't hold onto the mark. He'll have another dip at it. The G train. What's he going to do? He throws it on the left, kicks it into the corridor, does the discipline thing. But the first man there is a blues player in Scotland. Did look out, didn't it, from mm -hmm. here? Oh, well, Andy Marrett. No, he's right down there alongside no. it. Ball didn't completely cross the line, Wolsey. No help him. I knew he'd know. Right yeah. there, right there. Not much he doesn't know. Well, you make it up if you don't know, don't you? It's worked for you. Cloak. Play on, play on, play on. That looks out to me. <laughs> no, <man>. Andy <laughs> says it wasn't, and it wasn't. Big pack on the wing. The two fishes out there for St Kilda. In fact, the three fishes when you count the one from Carlton. Hayes. For Montagna, and he just lingered for a moment, then gave it to the big Gardner. Oh, G. Rebold should take this one. He does. No, not paid. Well, maybe he didn't control it. I don't think he did. He would take that 99 times out of 100, wouldn't he, Nick Rebold? Thanks. Have a look. Did he control the mark? I thought he got a little piece of it, maybe. No, he didn't. Halpin. A bit of room to move. Little kick on the left is nice, and he finds Hadley. And there's a lead from Betts, and he's rewarded. So Betts plays on straight away, gives it back to Hadley. He kicks a long ball to set a half forward. Edwards flew, couldn't take the mark. On hands and knees was Fisher. Fed it out nicely to ball. And it's intercepted. Betts lost his feet. Finds him again. What's Eddie going to do? Oh, it just couldn't. The idea was right, but the execution just wasn't quite good enough. And it lets the Saints off the hook. So yeah. goal goes begging for the Blues, and the Saints are away. Well, you're right, quarters. And the Eddie Betts kick had to be better than that. Certain goal blown. They direct Fiora to bring the ball into the middle to Stephen King, and he's going to get 50. Hampson shakes the head. Just in his third game, Sean Hampson. Well, Stephen King, this is his first possession, and Garden has been doing the bulk of the ruck work for the Saints. Only been on nine minutes. Balls it, Stephen King. Yeah, they've uh, they've shown a lot of confidence in Michael Gardner, and I think he's rucked well. He had the first four hitouts of this second quarter. 28 minutes for Gardner, so they're giving him some time. And Ruckman like to sort of have a bit of time out there too, don't they? They do. Just get their rhythm going, Hutto. As Stephen King gets his rhythm going. Extends the lead. Five goals in a row for St Kilda. To Carlton kick the first four. It's been all one-way traffic in the second term. Saints have kicked five unanswered goals, and they lead now by eight points. Five, six to four, four. Balls had six touches in this second term so far. Starting to come into the game. There's Judd. Caught high. That's Judd's fourth disposal. And it finds Carazzo, who's been very quiet. He's a ball magnet, usually. 
Hansen. Scotland's there for Carlton, but it's snaffled by Fisher to Betts. Now Scotland into the picture. Can't quite get there. Good attack on the ball by Hudson. Ball over to Geary. He's run down. Good tackle for Vola. Here's Judd. Can't break the tackle. It's a 50-50 at the moment, and Carlton win out Betts to Bauer. Left foot kick. It's awesome kill to here. Oh, mate. Didn't talk. He'll get out of it okay, I think. And we're going to throw in deep in the forward pocket with the Blues into attack. Haven't scored for 15 minutes, the Blues. Now they have. Just a behind for Eddie Betts. He's looking pretty sharp, Eddie. He's had just the four possessions. Fiora brings it into play. Harvey told by Luke Ball and was running down the wing to keep going, but no one went to him to help out. Eventually, Clark and Geary arrived on the scene. Harvey gets the Jets going again. Back out to Geary. Goes long for Fraser Geary. Geary went down after he kicked it, courtesy of Favola. That's where the noise was from the crowd. The Blues defence steadfast that time. Thornton. Oh, hoping for Russell, but Graham arrived on the scene. Timely work from Graham. And the Saints look like they've got their act together now after a very slow start. Five consecutive goals they've kicked. Well, they have, Hutto, but uh, Rewalt and Kaczynski haven't got going at all. There's the uh, good match up there. Hudson getting plenty of it against Brendan Favola. Yeah, Kaczynski only two possessions, Revolt three, yeah, and, and Gehrig two. So, and they've all been really quiet this quarter. And that is a worrying sign because you'd expect them to play up better than that. Yeah, just one disposal between the three of them for the quarter. Yeah. It's interesting, uh, they just haven't clicked the three big fellas in the forward 50 at this stage. And maybe one of them, perhaps Rewalt, needs to play up towards, be the leader forward. Whilst all that was going on, Del Santo's got the free kick and he goes backwards. Very unusual, nice isn't it? Sorry, Quarters, for Revolt to only have three possessions at this stage of a game. Yeah, he's played mainly in the forward 50. He hasn't been in that many contests. I think he needs to be released a little bit. Thornton did well, got in front of Kaczynski, brought the ball to ground. Good pick up by Carazzo. And his kick finds Fisher. Back to Carazzo, continued to run. Fiora sport well. Or did he? He's gone over the line. This is why Del Santo got the free kick. Well, that's fair enough. What, hitting him or the they free kick? They made a head sandwich, so he should have got a free <laughs> kick. Head sandwich. Here's Judd. Beautifully weighted handball. That was superb. To Scotland. To Favola, who goes for the hanger and gives away the free kick. He's in one of those moods tonight, Walsy. <laughs> Robert Walls think, just uh, polishing the baseball bat. I think Fev's in one of those moods, and so is Walsy. <laughs> He's just got the case and opened, got the baseball bat out. So we might get the Carlton runner just to send a message out to Fev that Walsy's in one of those moods. Revolts. Centering kick. Oh! Fiora from the side couldn't hang on to a specky. Picked up by King, he might get his second. It's a good snap. King's got two, Saints further ahead. Remember the day that Fev played at full back on <laughs> Fraser <laughs> yes. Gary? Yes. Gee, that's a good leap. Not marked, of course, but uh, a nice goal by Stephen King off one step. Big Stephen King enjoying himself. Not so fed just for the moment, Wolsey. Or Brett Ratton. No, and Stephen King, uh, an immediate impact. Two goals in the last six minutes. Ah, four goals is the most he's ever kicked in a game, Stephen King. Hampson, the tap down. Carazzo. Oh! As quarters mentioned, some of their usual high ball winners, possession winners for Carlton, haven't been able to accumulate tonight. Ball's been important. Touch out for Montagna. 
Gehrig's yeah, got the sit here if the ball stays in play, and it does. Kick six in both games last year against the Blues, Fraser. He'll be wanting to just edge around. We ready? Yeah. There we go. Straight through the middle. Two for Fraser. He's their most functional tall forward at the moment. Suddenly they lead by 19, the Saints. Hayes, Ball and Montagna are all involved. In his last six games against, uh, against Carlton, Fraser Gehrig has averaged six goals a game. And he's heading towards that again. This is the man who needs to get into the action. He's really struggled. Only had the four disposals, Dick Revolt. And oh. I think he should oh. be pushed further up to the uh, wings because you've got Kaczynski there who can play at centre-half forward and keep Gehrig in the goal square. Gardner to Montagna was very nice. And the kick has found Schneider. Looking for the revolt, it's a huge pack. And staying down was Houlihan. After Carrazzo started to come into the game. They're short to Fisher. They're still getting in each other's way a little bit that but, time, weren't yeah, they? they are. Nevertheless, they'd be pretty happy yeah. uh, St Kilda. Ball. They've kicked five goals in this quarter. And we're only 16 minutes in. Carlton just the one behind. Yes, the Wells dried up at the moment for the Blues. Thanks by 19. And that tells a story too, doesn't it? The disposal efficiency. Scotland 10, Houlihan 10 touches for the Blues. Geary a dozen for St Kilda. Hudson 11. Stevens burrowing in. Gilbert's on top of him. Spills to Hayes. Nicely done. To Xavier Clark. A long ball. Getting back as Thornton couldn't take the mark, did the courageous thing, just spilled it, but it's a free kick going Carlton's way anyway. Well, it's going to be taken by Murphy. He goes straight up the middle. Here's a chance for Favola. Getting back to help is Clark. Well done. But the umpire said it's a free, and it's going against Hutchinson. And Brendan is well within range here. Yep, absolutely no doubt about that one. So if Avola will line up, he'll be kicking from about 53 metres. That was the dangerous uh, footwork back. at the other end of the ground. Well, He's gone back for a long run up, hasn't he? The Blues need this one badly. Oh, he's just flirting about, but Favola will kick for goal. And he's kicked one. And that's the way it stays. One, no, in fact, it's out on the full. Hit the little stick. Yeah, shave the little stick. Free kick to the Saints. Montagna restarts the Saints. Clark. Good run again off halfback from Sam Fisher. Good chase from Simpson. Kept him honest. Revolt one on one. He'll enjoy that more. Pfeiffer gets to the fall of the ball. Got Fisher loose. Can they pick their way through this? Favola leads to about 30 out, and that's where it heads. And this time, he's in good range. Good pass. Good defensive spoil on Nick Repolt up the other end. It was a real long and strong spoil that uh, set the attack up. And Jared Wade, I think he's enjoying the challenge of playing on Nick Repolt. There's the spoil, and that's a beauty. So Favola had just the 10, possess uh, 10 possessions last week. Four marks, kicked 2-2. Two -two. Kicked 6-5 six and five in the two matches against the Saints last year. Can he will this one back? I think he has. Only 13 in it. So Carlton need to... Look at that as a positive as Revolt comes off for a rest. 
Yes, and uh, he just needs to settle himself down. He's not happy. He takes a lot of pride in his performance, but uh, Carlton back in the contest. Carlton ended 25 minute goal drought. Revolt off and not happy about it. A big win for White playing centre half back for Carlton tonight. And that little war down the other end of the ground, the Favola Hudson war. Just about even now. Favola's got 2 2. Wow. Cloak to tap nicely to Judd. A high ball inside 50. They mark to Raf Clark. I've noticed Raf Clark several times when the ball's high. Gets underneath it a bit. Yeah, and he's more intent on the two handed fist than going for the mark. Just a confidence thing at the moment. Blake got the tap and it went straight to Judd, who stood up in the tackle and did well to get it to Betts, to Carazzo, to Stevens. That's out on the full. It's clever thinking that by Betts, the little mini pass. Deserved better. Sam Gilbert. A couple of options across half back. One was Blake, the other Gardner. Looks up now. Lee Fisher is away. If he can move the ball to him quickly. Judd just labouring a little bit to get back onto him. Simpson lends a hand, and what an important hand it could have been. Fisher for Blake. A couple of options through the middle. Oh, good aggressive play by Cloak. You know what you're going to get with him. Good tackle ball. Oh, it wasn't it's a great. ripping tackle. Yeah. That's the feature of his game that's uh, really been on this season. Luke Ball. He's just got to establish himself all over again as a top liner. Have a look at the tackle come in. Well, it's the one area that he's still been effective in all the way through, isn't it? But it's uh, just not quite the player that he could have been if it wasn't for his uh, injuries. He still might get there. Let's hope so, if he can get his body right. Margin still 13. Look at the scrap for the ball. Ends up with Simpson at the back, but he had no one to go to. Russell trying to provide an option for him. Traffic cleared. Carazzo. Milner arrived late and had an effect. But that's a good strong mark from Jordan oh. Russell. That's it. Not too happy oh, with man. the attention from Graham. 48 to 35. Important period for oh, Carlton man. coming up. If they can keep the margin around about a couple of goals, it'll give them some hope going into half time. Thornton. Eddie Betts presenting. Oh, oh, Fair oh, back with Blake oh, in front of him. So uh, oh, they go wide first. Oh, Helpen's pushed to the goal square to take Garrick. This is Pfeiffer for the long super goal. It's only worth six, but it is super for the Blues. First goal in AFL footy for Darren Pfeiffer. Eddie Betts has given them a spark. He's, he's been really good moving around, taking marks, playing it on quickly. Good to see this kid back himself, run his full measure. And we'll see the big G train down there. Run the length of the ground by O'Halpin. Darren Pfeiffer on the Crows list for a couple of years, taken pick 17 back in 2005. Finally got his opportunity and kicked his first goal on league footy. And there's Fraser just slowly getting back into the forward 50. Seven touches this quarter for Eddie Betts. He's been very good. Disputed ball in the middle. Stevens is there. He's wrapped up by Xavier Clark. Ball yells the crowd, and that's the way the umpire sees it. Cracked it in. Cracked it in. And it's going to be a goal. Is that because he uh, uh, disputed the decision? Well, so let's listen in on the umpire. The umpires are red hot on it. Let's listen in, see what the umpire says. Demonstrative and abuse. Yeah, demonstrative and yeah. abuse. Well, everyone's on notice about that. And Nick Stevens has just got uh, no excuse for doing that. They've worked hard to get the last couple of goals, the Blues, and they just hand one back. So, a gimme goal for the Saints. To Xavier Clark.
have a look at it again. Nick Stevens still questioning. So there's the free kick. Empire said you dragged it in. Well, he, he, got, he tackled him around the shoulder. I mean, it could have gone either way, Hutto. I know. That's what annoys me is there seems to be one rule in one sense and one in another. What's that for, what Sydney? that for? Look, there's the, there's the grab around the shoulder. Could have been a free kick to Stevens. Mm. No wonder he was frustrated. But he's got to shut his mouth because mm. uh, you can't just let your own frustration cost your team a goal. Saints by 13. Gardner with a little tap to the side. Can anyone run onto it? Knock it out. Montagna. Harvey, as he's oh. done for so many years, finds a way. Milne at the front was hoping to run up, latch onto it. Montagna might. Oh, just knocked out beautifully to Snyder. Almost. When they've got, as you said before, Rosie, it's a different looking forward line with Neil and Snyder down there, isn't it? My word it is. And both of them are disciplined to run to the drop, front and square. Oh, well done by Dal Santo to spoil Bannister. But beautifully done by Gibbs. And he finds a fellow number one draft pick in Murphy. Kicks to Favola. And a little give to Judd. Now, what's Chuck going to do? He decides to kick and kick beautifully. He thought about having a pick at the goals, but it was a lovely pass. Well, it was a good passage of play for yeah, Bowler's lead and mark was strong, and straight away he gave it. Straight away he gave it to Judd. We all wondered whether Judd would blast away from about 55. He chose to pop it up. He said seven for the quarter, Chris Judd. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see, Hutto, whether he can run the second half out. He struggled in the opening game of the season, Chris Judd. And Jordan Russell has missed. It's interesting looking at that Judd decision, Walls. I wonder if it was he was also thinking about his own abilities with the, with the groin to, to kick 50 metres. I think he was. He's, he said that he won't be right until uh, another two months go by. Clark with all bases covered ahead. Latanya's been important in this quarter particularly. He's up to 15 touches now for the match. And in, while this has been going on, Carlton have been able to man up and just get all the numbers back. Rebolt's back on the ground. Trying to run a cloak around, calling for the footy. Maxi goes longer. Kaczynski, Fisher both there. Kaczynski doesn't he hit the pack hard. He's uh, struggled tonight as well. Out to his mate. Revolt to Snyder, left it behind. Well done from Jared Waite. King a bit clumsy, I think, there. Jared, Jared! You've got the, you've got the ball. Free kick back here. Just not sticking for Justin Kaczynski tonight. Play on, play on. Time runs out for Thornton. Who's he kicked that to? Mr. Nobody. Well, no one in particular, as Jack Dye used to say. Judd, Murphy, dancing around some opposition and even some that weren't there. High ball for Fiola. For, for Fiola. It's a combination of Fiora and Favola. Hudson, Hayes, Del Santo, Clark. Oh. Hitting Hope stuff to the wing. Tough bounce for Revo. They clean up. Fisher goes wide. Good strength shown by Simpson. Quick to his feet. Cloak and Carazzo providing options. Goes with Carazzo. Big Hampson's back in the goal square, but the kick was run down, as you saw. Gilbert and King. Saints not out of trouble yet. Ball couldn't get safely to Hayes. Clark has a crack. Blues trying to crank up the intensity. King was able to break the shackles onto the wing, but Geary fumbled at the crucial moment. Gibbs goes back in after it. Simpson. It's not pretty footy just for the moment. 90 seconds to go to half time. Hudson takes the edge that time on Favola. Hates to kick the ball, Maxi Hudson. Always wants to handball it. Oh, Gee, how lucky was that uh, St Kilda play? Yeah, they got out of trouble there just. Xavier Clark kicks the ball, he takes the mark. Yeah, G train off and Milne coming on, and the little bloke's just hiding. <laughs> Play on, Gibbsy! Play on! 
to King. Just gives one to Hadley on the way through for good measure. Well, now the mark's taken by Graham. Pops one over the top to Gilbert. Long left foot kick. Revolt's got a bit of couple. And third man in is Zoe Hubbard, but couldn't pick it up. Milne's there. Had no support. Pfeiffer. He's booted a goal in this term in his first match of AFL football. To Fisher. Short to Thornton. Mm. He's having a good start to season 2008. Now Cloak. And he kicks to Gibbs. So it's the Saints by 13 points as the clock ticks down to half time. It's been a good contest. Kick to half forward. Desperate stuff there from Hampson. Graham again. And that's going to be it at half time. And it's been an entertaining contest. The Blues got away early. St Kilda fought back with five unanswered goals. And then Carlton steadied once again. 13 points, Robert Walls, in favour of the Saints. Have you been eating your vegetables, Anthony? Just notice you've had a bit of a growth spurt. A bit, a bit closer to Robert and height-wise. Uh, let's go down to Andy Ma. He's always been a larger man than people give him credit for. Quarters, there's no doubt about that. Just an interesting observation here. The bench at half, uh, coming out after half-time for the Blues. Uh, Heath Scotland and Nick Stevens starting on the bench for Carlton. You would never have seen that in the last four or five years. The two prime movers and that. Nick, Heath Scotland is there. He's just nicked down to the loo, I think. So... Uh, Stevens and Scotland starting on the bench is uh, pretty bold for the Blues and you can see Robert Harvey starting on the bench for the Saints with Michael Gardner, so Stephen King to take the opening bounce. So there is King up against Cloak. Have you seen Cloak's game so far, Robert? I think he's been fantastic. He's, uh, he's not an established ruckman by any means. He hasn't played a lot in the ruck, but he gives his heart and soul. Away we go in the third term. A whistle immediately. Hayes, go back. Go and it's back a free now. kick and it's going to go some Kilda's way. It's going to be taken by Lenny Hayes. In two minds, decides to just gain 10 metres for his team. And that's a beautiful kick. Looking for a v revolt. Just couldn't quite get it on the second bite. Montagna's there to mop up to King. Into the pocket. Thornton takes the slider. It's been very good again tonight for Carlton. Up to 12 disposals. He said he had a career high 28 last week. Against the Tigers, he was very good. Thought. Yeah, he was. Play on. Murphy. Play on, Play on. Back to Thornton. And now finding some space here is Ullahan. Is it me or is it getting a bit smoky or foggy in this ground, Rob? Yeah, it's got a bit, uh, it's what they call a hamburger fog coming up from the food stores. <laughs> no Earth Hour here tonight, of course, at Telstra Dome. No, we're in the middle of Earth Hour, aren't we? <laughs> we are. Thereabouts. I'm sure we'll be carbon neutral very soon. Mm. Telstra Dome. King wrestles, third man up. There's Murphy, Carazzo's in there, so is Ball, just put the head down and went for it. Hayes, slick handball to Dal Santo. Running from defence is Fisher. Sam Fisher at centre half forward, it's a long kick, Revolts there, yes! What a mark! He plays on, pops it over the top, laconically to the G-Train, who dropped the beans! Well, that was a bit too fancy for the Saints, and they paid the price as the Blues clear. Not the big forwards night for St Kilda, is it? It's just not happening for them. Well, the machine, the Saints machine, looks like it's just ready to click into gear through the midfield. Meantime, the Blues going forward, and Edwards has just been terrific at his presentation in his first couple of weeks. Oh. Looked like he got colour blind then, kicked to the wrong man. Favola broke to the right, and he kicked it to the left. Gee, he's good overhead, Edwards, isn't he, Rob? He is good, yeah. He's going to be a player. He's just got to get the uh, decision-making right with the kicking. Oh. His kicking looks a little awkward at the moment, doesn't it? But uh, as you said, looks promising. Graham, I'm hoping for Gehrig. It wasn't all that well presented for him. Good work from Fisher. Snyder, able to shrug a couple. Ball up and under. Oh, 
Try climbing under that. Oh. Cameron Clark will have a crack at anything. A bit clumsy though. Oh. Graham, oh, ball's turned to completely make a mess of the kick. It didn't look like he was confident enough to have a shot, did yeah. it? Well, that's just an unbelievable kick by Ball. He was 35 metres out and it's gone off the side of the boot. It's like he blew a tyre or something. Was that a free kick to King? No, it wasn't. Russell cleaning up with Carazzo running alongside him. To a one-on-one. -on -one. Gilbert with the wrestle with Edwards. Eddie Betts at the front. Can he get balanced enough? Well, gee, hit it hard, didn't he? He just did everything right. The kick was poor. And Luke Ball, what happened to Luke Ball? Well, here we sit. We'll have a look at the handball first. And there's the Luke Ball kick. That's as bad a shot for goal as I've seen this year. Clark in the clinches. Got it out to King, to Hayes. Forced to kick hurriedly. Fisher. Got one a bit high. Yep, the ball's coming back. When you say this year, Rob, we're only in the second week. Yeah, I know, I've seen a few bad shots, but none as bad as that. And that is the one thing that Luke Ball has to improve, his goal-kicking efficiency. He averages half a goal a game. The real top-line midfielders kick a goal a game like Judd. He's had six kicks tonight, Wolsey. Four of them have been ineffective. Yeah. Thornton again. Right into the middle of Telstra Dome. Bang! And again, Saints getting a fair few numbers back inside defensive 50, and they cut that off. Fisher to Del Santo to Schneider in game 100. Blake's run hard. Couldn't quite get it. He might in the end. He suckers off the ground. Well done by Blake. He did well, quarters. He did well to go courageously at a mark, and then he did well to follow up and gain 35 metres for his team. They've been winning the clearances in this quarter, the Saints. You can hear the Saints fans trying to urge them on. They forgot to have a Ruckman there, though. And uh, Cloak and Thornton able to combine to bring it away. Thornton a bit rushed with the kick. Fisher didn't quite make the trap, and Eddie Betts did well to make it a 50-50 ball. They Six are switched on St Kilda. Uh, they, you said they didn't have a Ruckman. Michael Gardner stayed back on the wing. Here he is now. But Rewalt and Fraser Gehrig were oh. both in the goal square and didn't come out to help. Gardner straight to Carazzo, but uh, just turned it straight over. Del Santo to Graham. Can someone do something clean and finish it off? Well, not yet. Just over Rewalt's head again. Clever effort from Snyder. Graham, the second guy, to try and kick it off the ground. He goes again. Fraser, that was a throw. <laughs> and it could have been 50, technically, against Graham, who actually kicked it away. Well, he had the big gloved hand out. So we've gone six minutes in this quarter, and ain't been too much happened. Play on, go forward, play on! Hadley. In the direction of Bannister. Oh, well done again, Sam Fisher. And squares it up, and the kick's good. The fine Schneider. There's leads everywhere. One of them's milled. He'll get it. Oh, it went too high. The little fella couldn't grab it. Now Gibbs. Thornton, that's his eighth touch for the quarter. Over to Stevens, who goes in board to Eddie Betts. Back to Stevens. He's had a nice break. To Murphy, corralled by Ball. That's a brave kick. It's come off and it's marked by Gibbs. Now Gibbs to Simpson, waiting for some leads. None forthcoming. So again, he goes sideways and finds Hadley. The Saints wouldn't want to muck around for too much longer, Wolsey, with their mistakes, would they? Well, a couple of quick goals, and it's uh, game on. A bit like last night, you thought Collingwood had pretty good control of it. Brisbane came over the top. Bauer. They've just fallen into St Kilda's hands a bit with their entries lately. There was some manhandling there, according to the oh, outcome. Over the shoulder. Murphy, over just the shoulder. beyond his range, you would suspect. Cloak's an option across the 50. Fev's very oh. deep. It's crowded in there. And they let a haystack stuff. But Nick Stevens oh. almost was able to create something. He knew what he was doing, yeah, didn't he? he? Did. Check side at the left footer. No one else did, but he did. There's the Gehrig throw. First score of the quarter, Hutto, from my calculations. Mm. Mm. 
must be something to do with Earth Hour, Court is having an effect. <laughs> so Del Sando to kick it in and goes short to Fisher. His ball comes off for St Kilda for a break. This quarter's been going eight minutes. Gilbert. Oh, gee, it's dangerous again. Hayes was up to the task and a great handball to Fisher, to Blake. Now Graham, to Blake. They are mucking around with it, the Saints. Fisher, well, he did well there to get out of danger. To his namesake. Now Graham, who just bangs it onto the boot. And White takes the diving mark. And uh, things are just going skewy at the moment, aren't they, Rob? Well, they're... Positioning of the ball into their forward line has been a disgrace this quarter, St Kilda. Just bombs away there by Graham. Fisher Thornton. And now he can bolt through the middle with Bauer. It's at least this direct is a scrappy kick. Go for Vola a chance. Betts is lurking around, but numbers with the Saints. Oh, was that a handball? Apparently it was. Hayes and Geary. Montagna. Gilbert. Gee, the Saints are just fumbling and bumbling around. Gilbert on the wrong side. Revolt comes down to try and stamp his name on the contest. Montagna to Hayes. Going at it together on the outer side. Fiora, we know he's a punishing left foot kick. He's got Gehrig in his sights. He went short. Oh, he did go to Gehrig. He did go to Gehrig. Good roost. And it was a brilliant kick by Fiora. And thank goodness we've seen some quality foot disposal. Now, was any tunnelling going on here? No. Uh, hello. I was, gee, hello. You're mischievous. <laughs> 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 you are allowed to blame the producer or not? No, <laughs> we, we set you up beautifully there. <laughs> But Nick Rewalt pushed down, and I think he might need to push down a bit more for the remainder of this game and leave Gehrig and Kaczynski up in the 50. Well, it's the first goal of the third quarter, and Fraser Gehrig goes off. Rewalt goes to the goal square. It's a long time since the St Kilda skippers had just the six disposals, and we're halfway through a third quarter. You've got to give a lot of credit to Jared Waite, his opponent. He gave the applause there yes, to uh, Fraser Gehrig. He's had four kicks for three goals, Gehrig. I'm, he's done his job. I'm a bit surprised he's off, actually. Well, he's a bit underdone, isn't he, after doing the calf in the NAB Cup? Betts to Scotland, into the pocket, not good delivery to Edwards. But he's been the most likely man to kick a goal, really. I mean, Stephen King's kicked two. Now, Stephen Mill is running through the middle of the ground to go into the defensive 50, and I just asked the question, why? Favola got the handball out. Scotland again, throws on the left, but just blazed away. It's all some killer here, and Mark uh, by Hutchinson. They've become pretty his time to play on as well, Rob, haven't they? They have. They've lost their structure, the Saints. Geary back to Hudgston. And here is Mill in defensive 50, Rob. Well, what's it proved? Nothing. He's, he's in the team to uh, crumb goals to get in front of the big fellas. Great initiative by our help, and then he really led Kaczynski to the ball. At the halfway stage of this third quarter, gee, he's run some... Touch with danger there. Graham vigorous on Hampson. Fisher has had a terrific third quarter. Raf Clark eventually had the important touch. Graham starting to slice them up oh. through the middle, but he's kicking his wayward again into the forward 50. Carlton just can't make them paint them no, up, can no. they? No. No. They haven't been great either, really, with their delivery. Again, look at that. That's a high one. Tough to handle down there for Edwards. Gee. Graham's two ordinary kicks into the forward line. Luke Ball's missed shot at goal. And that's a shocking boundary throw. Not much going right, Hutto. <laughs> Harvey. 
the best 20 metre kick in the business according to Luke Darcy and he doesn't disappoint there Sam Fisher again on your... to ball laconically pops it over the top but very effectively to Gilbert now Geary to Harvey revolts that's better from St Kilda just probably out of range Nick revolt Looks like he's going to have a dip. Judd having a break. Now Revolt will be kicking from about 53 metres. Oh, oh dear. What a pass. <laughs> Stephen Milne, and he's on his correct side too. Run around here, he loves these, Stephen Milne. And a goal assist from Revolt and a goal to Milne. Can't count that as a goal assist. Yeah, well, no, it's a goal assist. No, it's not a goal assist. <laughs> <laughs> Did have my tongue in my cheek. <laughs> I wonder actually well, if technically it would go, go down as a goal it assist. Would. It would. Spent plenty of time on the sidelines tonight, Chris Judd. And he's had 11 possessions so far. St Kilda now getting out to their biggest lead in the match so far to four goals. Hampson doing some good work there. And Stevens able to bow in and get it out. Simpson quick with the kick. Right there, right there, Bauer. They hold right, their positions right. and then push wide. Simpson right, kept right, on right, running. Right, can kick a long ball, suit his left boot. And he sold it around Harvey, got in and out of trouble. Carazzo, not always the best finisher. It's back to 23. And the Blues really since early in the match haven't, just haven't been able to kick enough goals, have they? To, really makes and killed to pay for their mistakes. Graham to Raphael Clark. He's got his brother as an option. Ignores him and goes to Harvey. To Geary, who continues to impress. Graham back to Harvey. Run down there. Here's an opportunity. There's no one inside 50 for either team. So Murphy's just forced to kick it as long as he can in it. Slews off the side of the boot and will have a throw in. There was no one inside 50. No defenders, no attackers. Murphy tried to do the right thing, but... Was he having a shot then? Or well, was he had to. There's nothing else to yeah. do. But well, it just he... went off the side of the boot. He, tr he tried to unload the big torpedo. Yeah. Carlton have kicked since quarter time just the two goals. Two goals in 46 minutes. Amazing handball stats, those ones. So Saints clear through Montagna. Leading stat getters in the game. Thornton, 19 for Carlton. Gibbs has got 17 for the Saints. 20 to Graham, 19 each to Hutchton and Montagna. Saints have had twice as many handballs as the Blues. And Stevens by foot, effective that time. Now, will Murphy consider himself in range here or not? He's taken it out very wide. And he's not able to draw it back. And the Saints concede the behind. So 22 points the difference. Yeah, Rewalt coming off, Fraser Gehrig to replace him. This has been a very ordinary quarter, hasn't it? Just been so many uh, skill errors, unforced errors. Long kick in, King just pushes out his opponent. Free kick, and he's been penalised for it, has he? Use your hands, sir. use your hands. It's going to Hanson. There's a lead from Fisher. That's ignored. Hansen pumps it long. Judd from the side, no mark. Oh, Halpin's there. So is Bannister. He's gang tackled. Releases the ball. Kicked by Fisher is a point.
Oh, just strength, wasn't it? Yeah. Good use of the body. Clark for Snyder. Back for Clark again. Kazitsky with two over the top of the mall. Ball tripped over himself, according to the umpire. Kazitsky kept on running, and he should be able to take this grab. Some holding anyway. It's going to go to Milne, I think. Against you. That's a free kick. Free kick to Stephen Milne. Back here, thanks. Now, can Milne find a way to play on here? <laughs> Well, he's probably a better chance to kick a goal if he does something erratic. <laughs> he's enjoyed himself over the years against the Blues. Kicked three and two in the two matches last year. Kicked five back in 2005 and six in 2004. And he threads another one through tonight. That's his second. get the feeling perhaps the floodgates are about to open Rob yeah I think that uh, on the general flow of play you'd think St Kilda's kicked three goals this quarter Carlton hasn't kicked a goal but uh, you'd think that Carlton uh, St Kilda could have easily kicked a couple more second goal to Stephen Milne for the quarter Saints now have a very handy buffer of 27 points Gehrig's back on there's Revolt and Gehrig both in the goal square. Yes, and Chris Judd is on the field, but he's playing more or less as a centre-half forward. Brendan Favol has been taken ah. off. Little toe poke by King. Oh, a further soccer off the ground by Montagna, who continues to run. Oh. Milne, Clark, Dodgers, goals. Floodgates are going to open here at the Dome, I reckon. Just forced that forward, didn't they? They did. They Benny Benny which crashed way? it. Bastion crashed the ball forward. Stephen King kick off the ground. Montagna kick off the ground. Clever balk there by Xavier Clark. And I think you're right. We might be right quarters. Uh, it just looks as if they could be ready to go. Ex Clark's made a pretty good start to the year, hasn't he? He's 18 possessions tonight, two goals. He's a high draft pick. Hasn't really come on the way they would have liked in the time but he's a mature player now both the Clarks uh, Hutto, are getting plenty of experience playing in the back line I think that's a good thing Goddard will be coming back into this St Kilda team very shortly and yeah. that'll really and Maguire them. and Maguire I understand that both oh. of them are very uh, close to coming back in oh. yeah. Maguire's playing tomorrow untimely slip from Nick Stevens allowed Blake in Fiora goes for broke revolt almost Gehrig with too many to beat and he realises that and just trots after it as the Blues bring it out of defence and I think Simpson just sensing what you were talking about quarters and trying to calm things down just give the Blues a bit of a feel for the footy for a moment they'll help him back for Bryce Gibbs bit of treading of water time oh it's too wide that's two he's put out of bounds yeah. on the full same position too Robert Harvey could have marked that, and he was on the bench. Del Santo confronted by quite a bit of congestion deep. Kicked it to Raf Clark, I think, even before Raf Clark realised it was coming to him. Well, he's got three big fellas down there in front of the goals, and he goes to the G train. Ooh, could have been a free. I think that's pretty much what Fraser's saying there. Blues defence using their extra numbers to just flick it around. Scotland is able to emerge. And find Fisher. Stay there, stay there. The margin is 33 now as we get towards the end of this third quarter. Favola having to go long and far to get a kick. Along the line to the hard-working cloak. Hadley and Edwards down there. Gilbert came just at the right moment. Probably a good decision. Looking at it again. 
Saints by 33 on Carlton's half forward line. That's a better throw. King reached over the top. Betts does the roving. He's run down. Hayes got legged. Ball, good hands to Graham, who just handed it to Del Santo. Good shepherd off the ball from King allows Del Santo to kick to Revolt, who takes the juggler. Pops it over the top to Blake, who's continued to run. Good tackle, but a bit high, and Waits uh, giving away the free kick. At least he held things up. So Blake immediately dishes off to Graham, who kicks to uh, Gehrig in the pocket, and Gehrig's got it. Now he's on his right side, which is his left, if you know what I mean. He'll be kicking from about 45. Looking to load it off here. Look at the man on the mark is. Yeah. If we had a little wider shot, our helping is... He is so, the, the mark it's pretty is, smart, isn't it? It's about three metres to the left of our helping. Does Gehrig want to run round a little bit and yep. improve the angle? So it's quite smart thinking from our helping. For an Irishman. Oh, come on. Gehrig has kicked the point. And racial vilification case coming up against Anthony Hudson. Wolsey wrote it down for him. I, I just <laughs> said it. 34 points the margin, Scotland. Very wide again with the kick, but it's okay. Some of the defenders getting plenty of the foot in this quarter. Gee, Thornton with 10. Just stopped to a walk, the Blues. There's no yep. play on. It's just slow, predictable, kicking to pack football as they go forward. Oh, that was very un-Lenny Hayes-like. Sloppy and almost a throw. Saints might still get a scoring opportunity out of it. Fisher's ball for, intended for Blake. Milne was right there ready to go buzzing past. Blake was looking a bit awkward, looking a bit tired, but very, very effective. And Snyder turns his back and says, I'm going to have a shot for you. Look at this. This is <laughs> Lenny Hayes. Was it actually a throw? Yep. And not yep. much fist on it. And Blake... Jason Blake has just gradually got better and better as a player. He's such I, a hard worker, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, and he's the sort of player that you love to have in your team. He's really well respected by his teammates. And his 100th going for his second goal. Oh, Snyder misfires badly. And we've said it already, the Saints could be quite a bit further ahead than what they are. 81 to 46. Just a minute and a half to go in this third quarter. Kick in by Houlihan is short and finds Russell. It's been uh, almost an hour since Carlton's kicked a goal. They didn't kick a goal for the whole earth hour. Maybe they did it in the name of conservation. Well, Dick Pratt and Juddy are into that. Mark taken by Gibbs. Aren't you into it, Wolsey? <laughs> Short kick to Waite. He's played a pretty good game. Short to Betts. So They're going nowhere. It's a game of uh, drafts at the moment, isn't it? Yeah. Very uninspiring third term. Kicks to Judd. And that's a mark. This is Judd's 12th disposal for the match. Here's a long lead from Favola, and uh, Judd delivers well. It's about six marks in a row to the Blues. Favola wastes no time. He pumps it to the hot spot. Huge pack fly. Staying down was Fiora, Schneider, Milne, and the Saints on a fast break here. To Clark. Long lead from Revolt. He's worked hard, but got a horrible bounce. He's had a dog of a night, hasn't he, Nick? And Waits has coughed it straight up to Schneider. And that is three-quarter time at the Dome. It's St Kilda 12-9-81. Cal it will come for them. They're into the third quarter in the other match at Subiaco tonight. And the Hawthorne's march towards September glory is oh. gathering momentum. He's been, he's, <laughs> he, he, he didn't say we're gathering momentum, did he? Yeah. He's now he's back on the wagon. Now there's the a star. There's a star, Robert. That's Jeff Southby. Yeah, yeah, what a player he was. Jeff Southby was a wonderful player. Did he, didn't he change the topic quickly and get off Hawthorne? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Jeff Southby from Sandhurst, best and fairest winner with the Blues, in fact, a couple of times, and was just an absolute star at that fullback position. And then Steve Silvani came along. Mark Murphy. 
holding the man on the jumper back here. Back here. So free kick to Murphy. Just a little bit of pause between Wolsey reliving the glory days there. But Cloak came in and uh, helped out. Oh, Houlihan quickly running out of room. Stalked by Harvey. Kicked away. And that is superb work from Bannister. Murphy had some problems, but he got out of them all right. Well done. Pfeiffer, but his hands on the footy again. Now, Chris Judd. Nick Stevens playing out of the goal square. Fev might have to do some roving here. He doesn't get to the front, though. Clark did. Eddie Betts is the man for the moment. Back to Stevens. Oh, one too many touches from the Blues. And Clark should be able to engineer the Saints to get out. I think Nick Stevens wouldn't have given it to anyone else except it was Chris Judd. So I think he thought I'd better give it to the skipper. And really, he should have had a shot for goal himself. Lenny Hayes, long ball, looks for Fiora! Shit, that's brought the crowd to their feet. That was a hanger. Good kick in the middle, too, to Graham, who continues running. Now, can he kick a long monster? Garrick's there, he monsters his opponent and kicks his fourth. He's been great. Well, good. He's been good. Six kicks, or six disposals, all kicks. And four goals won for Fraser. It was a good grab from Aaron Fiora. That was a hanger, wasn't it? Yeah, that was a beauty. And I just looked at the crowd. Have a look at the crowd in the background. They just love seeing that. So do I, Hunter. Out to 41 now. Some highlights there from Fiora and from Fraser Gehry. A game that was devoid of them in the third quarter. Lenny Hayes showing great composure there. Crowd's starting to buzz now. Revolt. Good mark. Inspired by Fiora and Gehrig's feats. He's got blokes running past him. He didn't want to think about laying it off. He thought about it. Now he's going to pass to Gardner or Milne. No, Milne, I think, called for it. Mm. That's unusual. <laughs> now, what will he do here, Milne? Will he run around to the left? Good. He very rarely goes back and actually kicks straight over the mark from a set shot, but he might have to here. Since quarter time, St Kilda's kicked 11 goals and Carlton just two. So he's got his sights set here, Stephen Milne. Not quite set in the right direction. 42 points the margin now. Milne, two goals, two for the night. Scotland brings it back into play. Wait! Oh, that's a big mark, too. Ooh. Stephen Milne filling that at the back of the scone. And his kick finds Pfeiffer to half forward. If Carlton lose tonight, and they're certainly going to go down, no doubt about that, it will be their 13th loss in a row, Rob. And the Blues' record is 14 defeats in a row. And that was in 1901. Yeah. Well, as you played in that, I think. Back pocket. Do you know the record amount of losses by any team, Rob, in a row? Uh, no, I don't. What is it? University. 51. That's a bad trot. Houlihan has kicked a nice goal on the left boot. Did they sack the coach? <laughs> That's a bad trot, isn't it? 51 in a row. <laughs> it's not good. You'd almost, you'd almost have to disband after that. Well, they did. Yeah. <laughs> what about that uh, 100 points against them, Carlton? That's only need another two goals to the Saints. And uh, it's another 100 points kicked against the Blues. Yes, if uh, Carlton can see the 100 points, it'll be the 23rd time in a row. The record is 25 by Sydney in the early 90s. Who was coaching Sydney then? Was it Gary Bacanara? Correct. 
And who replaced Gary Bacanara? Was it Ron Barassi? It was. Wasn't it Brett Scott? In fairness, to, week. in fairness to Gary Bacanara, he had, the, the club was decimated. Yeah. They had no money, no nothing. Pfeiffer out for Judd, who's away. Fisher's calling for it long, but he went more central than that. It was heavily populated by Saints. Or at least some killer players. Here's Fisher on the left. Made pretty good connection, but just couldn't quite get the leverage and no chances taken down there by Montagna. So 13-10 to 7-11. The margin 35. Fiora. Certainly the mark of the night. Hempel to Gardner and that Graham and Tanya. Revolt leading wide to the flanks. Raf Clark there if it hits the turf, which it doesn't. Now suddenly. And he's got vice-like grip going again, Revolt. This is in Snyder's range. It's right in his range. But it just fades. A couple of very good marks by Nick Revolt and instant share of the ball to teammates. That's a good sign. Andy Ma. Yeah, of course, no one's worked harder than Jason Blake tonight. He, he, he hobbled off the ground, cramping in both calf muscles, uh, getting treatment on those right now. 43,000 the crowd tonight. Very healthy. Marked by Cloak. Stabs the pass. It was a beauty, actually. Was it hands in the back, though? I think it was. No, no, no. Pulled his kick. No, pulled his kick. Hand in the back. Hand in the back. So I did get 50. You pulled the kick. That was good. Sure. Oh. <sighs> Anthony. Stephen. Right there, Brendan. Fisher. Stevie oh. Milne in picture. Kick two goals. He's under the pump with Schneider coming into this and kill the team. And I think that'll be good for him. Uh, uh, mine, mine, Here's Rebo. It'll take another one here. No. And no free kick. Just thought there might have been. Wait and have it to dump it in the arms of Jordan Russell. And now Murphy. Favola calling for it at centre half forward. Got to go via Fisher. Fev back to the goal square. Carazzo will be squeezing the kick towards goal. And another miss. Inaccuracy has riddled both sides tonight. Particularly Carlton. Seven goals, 12. What a great night Waits had. Could have been some contact to the head there, I would have thought. But you're right, he's been fantastic. Mark here by King. There's Michael Gardner, who's uh, controlled the hitouts in tonight's game. He's had 18 hitouts. Stephen King's had eight. Cloak's had eight. Hampson six. So Gardner's done a super job in the ruck, and he's just getting better with each outing. And a fascinating story in the paper this morning about the toe surgery that Michael Gardner had. And the toe surgery. Yes, yeah, second toe was bigger than the big toe. Right there, you're right on it. And it caused an imbalance. Amongst other surgery that he's had, of course. Saints go deep into attack. Easy goal for Clark. Xavier. He's kicked three goals. Yeah, he has. He's just been able to crumb the ball pretty well in that forward line. My tip for the Brownlow, Nick Del Santo. Well, as a given the way St Kilda really haven't been at their best, Carlton would be pretty disappointed with their efforts since that really good first quarter. Yeah, absolutely. They've only kicked one goal since quarter time, and uh, that's a very dismal return. That Xavier Clark goal was the result of Carlton wow. being conscious of the St Kilda Tolls, and they pack jumped against Gehrig, two or three up against Gehrig, which meant St Kilda had the numbers down. Now hang on to Hayes. Over to Montagna. Good chasing effort from Favola. There's a free kick though, and it's going to Revolt. And it's getting a bit ugly for the Blues now. Straight back now. Straight back. Come on, mate, straight back. What did you think about that, Quarters? 
Well, come on. Jack Little. No comment. Yeah, uh, we, we have got a bit of a problem in the game at the moment. So, Revolt to convert the free kick. Which he duly does. It's got everybody second guessing at the moment, hasn't it? Revolt made the most of it, didn't he? I mean, he accentuated the little bit of contact there was. So what was the free kick for? Well, <sighs> interference in a marking contest, I suppose. Tunnelling. Saints lead by 47. Another iffy free kick, to say the least. Montagny's had a pretty good night. Gilbert kicks to half forward. There's the two little St Kilda blokes, Schneider and Milne, but the uh, ball evaded them with an unkind bounce. Now the Blues clear at half-back Carazzo. And his kick What's finds Fullerhan. Gee, they're slow moving it on. Milne having a break. Kaczynski back on. on. He's been very quiet. His first run for the quarter, Kaczynski. Judd against Gilbert. Now Hutchton comes in to lend a helping hand. He's a handball smothered by Betts. Been good, Eddie Betts. 13 possessions. Maybe we'd like to have had a bit more of the ball, but he's looked dangerous. There he is. Yeah. Eddie Betts snap into the goal square. What's disappointed you the most about the Blues, uh, well, sorry. Just quickly, Hutto, there's Kaczynski. He's gone up to the goal square, just had the four touches. The temptation for Ross Lyon would be to give him a run in the ruck, just to give him a few easy touches and get him uh, running. He's just been hot and cold in the forward 50, off the ground. That's happened repeatedly for four quarters. I know he's got two good ruckmen in King and Gardner. Yeah, but that's a good point. Just for Kaczynski's confidence, it'd be nice to see him have 15 minutes in the ruck just to get man, have some easy touches and feel good about himself. He looked so damaging in the early nap cup, didn't he, before he just got that, had that little injury. He looked in super form. Carlton just haven't moved the ball on quickly enough. Um, you now their forward line lacks oomph. And their midfielders, as the games wore on, have just been worn down by uh, the quality of Hayes and Del Santo and Montagna. That was great play by Murphy, well played. And Bannister will convert what deserved to be a goal for Carlton. 20 possessions for Murphy. Bannister rams it through. And there's a shot of Chris Judd, the skipper. I reckon he might have just about had enough. He looks like he's pretty much spent. 15 disposals for Chris Judd tonight. One mark. And has spent 18 minutes on the bench through the course of the game. King the tap nicely snared by Buller. Got caught high. Advantage paid. Del Santos off. Kicks in the revolt direction and wait in front. Gee, I'm glad they played uh, Jared Waite or Nick Rewald. This will be fantastic for him uh, to feel comfortable in that centre-half back position. Where would you prefer him, Rob, in the ideal world? Centre-half forward or centre-half back? Centre-half back. Leave, it, leave him at centre-half back. Look, they might eventually have to put him up forward. Um, Jamison will develop as a defender. I think our help is a defender. Then you've got Thornton. So there's three tall there. And Carlton's forward line isn't all that good, of course, but uh, I just think it's, it's a learning year for Jared Waite playing in defence on the best forwards, and that in turn will make him a better forward if he, if he goes up there in years to come. Cloak's kick was a good one. 
He's got a terrific vertical leap, Jared White. And it found Houlihan. Dodgy old kick. And it'll be a throw in. King again got first hand onto it now, Fiora. Um, there's not much happening at the moment, but the Saints are 41 points in front. Let's have a look at the matches to come for the Blues, who at the moment are on a 13-game losing streak. It's not going to get any easier against Essendon, Collingwood. Well, we know the Demons are struggling. Round five, isn't it? And uh, Adelaide Crows in round six. And another stalemate. And what about the Saints? That'll be a big game against the Dogs. Dogs were terrific today at the MCC. St Kilda and Geelong in round four, the two Premiership favourites, and then the Bombers and the power over at Amy Stadium. Harvey fires out the handball, the ball. Schneider. In game 100, and here he is again. And a fantastic night. As weight into the middle, Murphy to Scotland, looking for Vivola. Hamble was good to Houlihan, no one home, so he bangs it long. Kind bounce, no. Fisher brings it back into ball. Four goals tonight to Gerrick, three to Xavier Clark. Two to Milne and Stephen King. Hayes decides not to go to Revolt, at least not initially. This time Revolt calling for it behind, so he changed things up. So well thought out by Revolt and executed by Hayes. Quick ball for Milne, who's been dangerous. Play on automatically. He'd always play tippity running cricket, wouldn't he, Stephen Milne? And he's got it through for a sixer. Was this kick of Rewalt's touched? Because he immediately plays on. Yeah, the umpire call it. The umpire call it. As touched. touched yeah, yeah, I thought so. What are they talking about? Mm. Three goals to Stephen Milne. Four goals to Fraser Gehrig. That's one mean beard. It's the Saints by 46. And you're right, Rob, because he's having a run in the ruck, Justin Kaczynski. So great minds think alike. Ball. Oh, oh. Revolt gets an easy goal. Bit of jumper holding going on there that went unnoticed. Back in the old days, the fullback would have slammed the full forward into the fence, wouldn't he? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> if Plugger had have had that kick, he would have tried to kill someone in the crowd. <laughs> have a look at Favala. He's up on the wing now. Who'd be your early nominations for the player of the match, do you think, Rob? Uh, well, you'd think of uh, Lenny Hayes, you'd think of Graham, yeah. you'd think of Sam Fisher, you'd think of Jared Waite. Uh, Michael Gardner's been great in the ruck, and you know I love a ruckman. Fev getting his hands in there. 
the end of all that little rugby mall flicked out the back unfortunately for the blues it was headed in the wrong direction uh, the kick is eventually controlled by jordan russell bets calling for it time was up and bets came again 17 goals to eight the margin out beyond 50 now Gibbs had plenty of the footy tonight. A fair few little chip kicks that he's been involved in as the Blues have brought it forward. Who's won the contest, Wait or Rewalt? Oh, wait for me. Pfeiffer's kick was Re flirting Rewalt's with danger. Had 11 marks. Bauer thumps it in. Interference. Anderson killed the ball. Revolt's had more of it as in his last quarter, hasn't he? 13 possessions, 11 marks. Oh, I, I think Waite's certainly won the I mean, he hasn't, hasn't towelled him up or anything, but I, I would have given the points to Waite. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. It was interesting last night, Jonathan wow. Brown and Nathan mm. Brown. A lot of people thought Nathan Brown, who had only three touches, took the honours on Jonathan Brown. I totally disagree. Much harder to play as a forward than Yeah, a but you would, you would take that, wouldn't you? For Mick Moldhouse would have taken that, wouldn't he? Yeah, I wouldn't have thought that. You wouldn't say that he'd beaten him. He had some control over Jonathan Brown, but Jonathan Brown took eight Go marks, on. kicked a couple of goals. Gardner hasn't been paid. Off to Revolt. Kicks in the Garrick direction. He's going to attack it here, the G-Tro. No, he doesn't get there in the end. That's a good mark taken by Bauer. To Favola. In the back pocket. Kaczynski having a run in the ruck, as suggested by Robert Walls. Ross Lyon concurred. Right there, right there. Bannister. Well, that's taken by Judd, who we thought might have been spelled for the rest of the night, but he's back on the ground. There's your man, Rob. Yes, Feb, he's uh, playing up in the midfield the last 10 minutes. So Judd does the discipline thing and kicks to the hot spot. Hampson stood his ground, couldn't mark. Fisher snaps, and it's a nice one too. Well, there's Fev, and he's been playing on the wing and in defence in the last few years. Remember this back in 2004, round 10, when he lined up at full back on Fraser Gehrig. Dennis Pagan teaching him a lesson. Fraser licking the lips, kicking nine as the Saints won by 108 points in round 10, 2004. Now it's out to 46 points as a blood rule. Hampson coming off, Cloak coming back on. What do you make of Sean Hampson, Walsey? Uh, I think he'll be a very good player for Carlton. He's a work in progress, but he's keen, he's athletic, he's a Queenslander, so uh, he'll improve. Well, he's only been playing Aussie Rules, what, for three or four seasons. He came from a soccer background. That's right. That, that's why I think the uh, upside of him is huge. Big cheer for the G-Train as he comes off. I tell you what, some, the Queenslanders are producing yeah. some footballers stick and fast, aren't they? More, more players are drafted out of Queensland than out of Tasmania. Yeah. A lot more. Nick Stevens trying to get the fast break going for the Blues through a number of players' hands there. Get used to seeing this. There's congestion and the ball just going metres one way or the other. Hayes out for Montagna. They're running for him now. Good vision along the wing. It opens up for Graham. Time to get balance. Protection provided by Del Santo. Tate Fuhrer a little while to line himself up. He adjusted the kick. It was a scorcher onto the chest of Adam Schneider. One goal, three to Schneider tonight. His goal kicking hasn't been great, Schneider. Remember, he lost, he missed that sitter last week in the last quarter. Mm. Missed a couple of easy ones. He's not good at. I don't think he's good at set shots from this distance. Well, having he, said all that, he I'm took sure. he took me to task in Ireland when I said that. Yes, which is fair enough. Well, let's see who has the last laugh here. Quartermain versus Schneider. <laughs> On with Schneider all the way. It's 
It's not going to be a pretty scoreline in the end. Eight for the Blues, that is. 18-11-119 to 9-13-67. Gee, he's become a good player, Jason Graham. He's just the uh, rebounder off that half-back line. Confidence absolutely sky high now after a ripper year last season. We've already had this discussion, Rob, but, but a lot of Swan supporters have been asking me the last couple of weeks, why do they give a man like Schneider away who's still young? I mean, mm. goal kickers up forward are hard to find. At the, 23, the, I think. The crummers, yeah. And he only played the 98 game, so he was uh, still in the first half of his Premiership career. Premiership player. I don't know why they let him go. I'm, I'm puzzled by that. There he is again. There was some salary cap concerns for the Swans, wasn't there? And they were trying to look for the future, but yeah, it's very puzzling. I, I think he's on a very healthy contract. He just signed a new contract, hadn't he, actually? I think before the, the trade came. He was on holiday and had a call from his manager to say that you're not going to believe this, but you're going to be traded. Because Jude Bolton's name was up for grabs too, yep, wasn't yes. it? Yep. Can he make it from here, Wolsey, Milner? Yes, he can. He's got four. And St Kilda 19 for the night now. 19 11, 125. Well, you look at that scoreline, and it's very impressive, isn't it? And yet the Saints haven't played anywhere near no. as well as we know they can. So I think that's probably a good sign. Four to Milne, four to Gehrig, two each to Revolt and Snyder. Saints by 10 goals, pretty much. Picked up by Pfeiffer. Gee, the tackling of Ball is sensational. And he's been rewarded. Well, they've won the last nine against the Blues by an average of 53 points. They're going to kick that up tonight, yeah, right? And 100 points kicked against Carlton again, easily. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's all Carlton there. It's marked by Cloak. He looks like he's got a bit of cramp in the left calf. Now young Gibbs. To Stevens, so playing out time here. Very comfortable win to the Saints. Handball back in the Gibbs direction. Ball stands his ground. Could have got a free kick. Gibbs got it out in the end to Pfeiffer. Now Carazzo got rid of the ball tackle just. Back to Pfeiffer. That's an awkward left foot kick. There's been some highlights tonight. Aaron Fiora providing the best, I think. You have to agree. And Jared Waite, pretty good runner-up. Blues are heading forward here, but they can just get their act together. It finally sits for Nick Stevens, who threads it for their 10th. Late consolation for Brett Ratton. So Nick Stevens, night, 17 possessions. I think he's still getting his full fitness back. So there will be better, Wolsey, when Stevens and Judd get some, some fitness and game time under their belt. Well, I, I look at Nick Stevens and I think he can be fitter. And we know that uh, Chris Judd, after that operation, is going to take some time. So, yeah, um, upside is, is big. Play on. Saints by 52. Del Santo 
Gardner's underneath. A good use of the body there by Houlihan. So next week, the Saints play the Dogs here at the Dome. And the Blues have got the Bombers. That's always a good one. Yeah, no matter where they are on the ladder. A couple of young Bulldogs today, Addison and Hill, looked very impressive. Build up early. How'd Acker go? Acker never touched it in the first half. In the third quarter, he ran hot and had about five shots at goal, kicked uh, three, and was enjoyed himself by the end of the day. He had a problem with his buttock, actually, Acker today in the first half, but it came good in the second. And that's a very strong mark taken by Fisher. As I said, it's a credit to him that he's managed to come back so early after that broken thumb in the pre-season. See, we're in the guard on that left hand, and Fisher will be lining up for his second. Pretty much point blank range here. Shouldn't have any trouble popping this through. So, consolation goal for the Blues. Margin down to 46. And was it out on the full? Is Andrew Ma still down there? <laughs> oh, it was clearly out on the full. I was out by at least an inch. Andy, an inch. You're, you're a very keen Carlton man. What are, you, what, you, what are your impressions on what you've seen tonight? Well, Wolsey, it looks like there's about three or four key Carlton players that are totally, uh, not totally underdone, but significantly underdone. And until they get near 100%, I'm sure this side's not going to improve as dramatically as some Carlton supporters were hoping. So 32 minutes gone. Been a lot of goals kicked in this last quarter. 12, in fact. As many as the whole game last Saturday night. <laughs> Carazzo. Down for Eddie. Time for one more. One for the road from Eddie Bates. Oh! Oh, an absolute doozy. <laughs> Even he can't explain it. I saw him snag one of those when he was in the warm-up yeah. before the game. Remember he snagged that left footer? Well, the, the, the great thing about this goal is that he's done it on his left side. I saw him do one right foot pocket at the MCG. This is on his left boot. He oh, knew what he was oh, doing. Oh. He angled it on the side of the boot. You won't see uh, many better goals than that. I tell you what, you won't, as I said, you won't see many better in 2008 than that. No. He just, there's a split second here where he thinks about it. See, he's working out just here, and bang, execution. Isn't that fantastic? Hello, he kicked goal of the year two years ago. Yeah, That's going to take some beating this year, I reckon. Well, the Blues have kicked six goals in this final quarter, so they haven't uh, flown the white flag, which is great. Flag on. And that's a free right. kick going St Kilda's way. Taken by Del Santo. Hayes, 28 touches. Ball, 28. Montagna, 28. And that is the game here at the Dome. St Kilda have won by 40.